The intense rain also triggered mandatory evacuation orders for the Holy Fire burn areas in Riverside County. And CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen continues our team coverage live from Corona tonight. Jeff. Pat and Jeff, right behind us is the latest effort to protect homes in this fire scarred area. The county recently built this steel structure. The hope is that it will keep large debris from backing up the drainage system here. That's because on the other side of those K rails are dozens of homes. As rain fell on the Inland Empire this evening, parents like Heather Zapata are having to make some tough decisions. Just a little unsure. You just, you never know, but you don't want to be caught being complacent. That's my house right there. Sherry Thompson lives in the Horse Thief Canyon area of unincorporated Corona. I woke up this morning with an alert saying uh, uh, you must evacuate. Her house is just steps from this covert that's surrounded by hillsides that were burned during last year's holy fire. So evacuation alerts are in place for a number of communities where the ground is exposed. Hopefully we don't get any more rain. So it's we're kind of a little worried about it. This was the Ashfield runoff in Lake Elsinore last month. Many who live in the fire scarred area have faced a handful of evacuation orders recently, which is why some are staying put for now. I don't foresee any damage. I don't foresee any trouble. You know, you've seen the barriers they have up here. You could hold back a sea. Everything's by the door. It only takes a couple of seconds to grab a couple of bags and we're out of here. And for the Zapata family, this will be the fourth evacuation order for their household since the fire. This time, you don't know how much are you, how much do we take, what, you know, and how long are we going to be gone? The American Red Cross has set up an evacuation center at Temescal Canyon High School, which is in Lake Elsinore. We are live in the Horse Thief Canyon area of Corona, Jeff Nguyen, CBS2 News.